Hi, my name is Ray Brewer and this is my invention, the Wagger Box. The Wagger Box is a junction box. Unlike these screw terminal junction boxes, it's been designed to work with a range of push fit and cage clamp terminal blocks that are fitted into the box after the cables have been connected. And this has a number of very useful advantages. As you can see from these selection of screw terminal junction boxes, each is different in terms of the number and size of terminal in each box. That's because each box is designed for a specific job. Because the WAGO terminals are independent, we can actually select the number and size of terminal to suit the job, which means the WAGO box effectively replaces all these different boxes. Also, with these fixed terminal boxes, when we come to fit the cables, we have to cut and trim each core individually, as the distance to the terminal varies depending on which entry point we're using. Working within the confines of the box with multiple cables is very fiddly and time consuming and when we fit the terminals for the WAGO box we will be working in free space and you can see how much quicker and easier that is. Ok, let's now have a look at the terminals. The WAGO box is designed to work with two types of terminals. There's push fit uh, and these come in a range of sizes. Here we have a 2, 4 and 6 way and an 8 way. Now these are actually uh, 24 amp rated and they are designed to work with cable sizes from 1 to 2.5 mil. They also do a push fit which is a 3 pole uh, and this is a 41 amp rated device and this can actually be used with cable sizes from 2.5, 4 mil and 6 mil. Next to the push fit we have the clamp, cage clamp and the cage clamp come in three types. We have a 2 way, a 3 way and a 5 way. Now these actually can be worked with um, solid core or stranded uh, flex um, and they're rated uh, to work with cable sizes all the way down to 0.08mm all the way up to 4mm and these are actually 32mm rated. Ok, so those are the terminals, let's have a look at how they work. We'll start with this 4-way. If you look on the back of the 4-way you'll actually see that there's a slight guide there and that guide, if you lay the cable in there, gives you a trim distance of about 11 mil. So if we take this and trim off that much, you can see the cable and we just push it into the connector like that. Now you can't pull this off. Once that's on, the only way to get it off is to actually twist and pull. The connector is designed to work in this way and it's as easy as that. And you can see that the cable isn't damaged and this connector can now be reused. For the cage clamp connector, to operate it we need to lift these levers up. Once the levers are in the up position, like so, the actual mechanism inside is open and it's ready to accept the cable. Here I've got a bit of flex. If I put the flex in and release the lever, that's now connected. On the back of the connector we can see there's also a guide for trimming off and this will trim off about 9mm. Once that's trimmed, insert, clamp and that's done. Now to release, well, all we do is simply lift up the levers again. Once the levers are in the up position, the cables come out very easily. So that's the connectors. Now what I would like to show you is how we bring those connectors together with the box and to do that I'm going to wire up three 1.5mm cables. Now we'll connect the earths using a cage clamp connector. So I'll use a three pole. First. Second. Right. Now for the solid core neutrals and, uh, and lives, I'm going to use a four pole push wire. And that's it. That's all our cables connected up. As you can see that was really quite straightforward and easy to do. Okay now let's have a look at the box. Now the box has got two receptacles at one end 
for the for the actual um, terminal blocks. Now at this end we have a cable clamp. Now the cable clamp, when you get your box, has two grippers, and these can actually be removed and repositioned. Now the front position here is for your small cables, so things like your one mil and your one point five mil. The rear position here is for your sort of intermediate size cables, things like your 2.5 and 4 mil. And if you take the grippers out altogether, these slots can actually be used to grip things like 6 mil and large flex. But as we're using 1.5 mil here for this demonstration, I'll put these back in the front position. Now, before I put the cables in, I just want to show you how the, the, the actual cable clamp can be flexed apart. Now, what you need to do when you're putting your cables in is that to get the first few cables in you need to just pull the box apart to make a gap and then the first few cables will go in. Once those cables are in the, the gripper will naturally stay open a little bit like that and it makes putting the other cables in a lot easier. Don't try and force the cable past the gripper. Okay so let's tr step one we'll put in our connector blocks Once those are in the box, we can just push them down. Now we pull the box apart and slide the first cables in. And then once those are in, we can put the other cables in very easily. Once those are in and everything's done, we just squeeze the box, bring the lid over and clamp shut. And that's it. I'm sure you agree that's very quick and very easy to do. Let's have a look at a few other examples. Here, what I've done is I've connected up six cables, and these are three core and earth cables. So we've got a, com uh, a total of 24 individual connections there, and I've used uh, four of the six way ca uh, cable connectors. So if we just slide those in, once again pull the box apart just to get the first two cables in, and then once those are in, the other cables slide in quite easily. Cables are all in, connectors are all in, squeeze the box, clamp the lid down, and that's it. So there you have six cables, three core on earth, 24 connections. The next example is for 6mm cable. Now the box will actually support up to three 6mm. Once again, it's the same procedure. Connectors in, push the cables into the slide, into the cable clamp, squeeze clamp and that's it. The last example I've got here is one that's typically used with the Wago box and that's a, a low voltage transformer. Here we've got a combination of solid core cable and flex um, and we can put those into the, the, the box using the cage clamp and the push fit connectors and as you can see the box is quite small so that will actually go through um, a spotlight hole very easily. And that's the Wagger box. If you need any further information about the box, then you can email me at support at waggerbox.com or you can visit the website, which is www.waggerbox.com. Um, I've hoped you've uh, found this video to be helpful and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>